Hey, this is Mike. I'm out here at uh, Jed Coon Chevrolet and uh, check out these awesome Corvettes. But um, I'm not going to video those right now. I'm going to video a roomier car, which is this uh, little tiny 2015 Chevrolet Sonic LT in green. Now this one has a little 1.4 liter turbo, Ecotec turbo engine and a 6-speed transmission. Gets really good gas mileage. I'll put all the, uh, the specs there in the description. But um, Dragon Green, I think is the name of this color. Really neat little car and it kind of stands out with the, but not, you know, it's not too tacky. You know, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a cool looking green. Anyway, it's got the, uh, the alloy wheels here, painted alloy wheels. With a 16 inch tire. You got your halogen headlights here as well as fog lights. This one has a sunroof. It's got heated side mirrors. And uh, looking in this little car, like I said, um, compared to the Corvettes, this one has a lot of room. Got a lot of leg room, head room, all that good stuff. So here's the inside of the, the passenger door. And you got just one big pocket right there. Power window. And it's like a two-tone black with a gray accent. And... Um, not real soft to the touch kind of hard plastic there for the most part but hey I mean the, the price of this vehicle is awesome so it's not like it's a you know real expensive vehicle and it is I mean it's still high quality uh, here's the the cloth black cloth seats with some some designs there in them and you've got a little Kind of like a small glove compartment there just compartmentalized i guess you could put cell phones or a small tablet or something it does have a usb port there with a little place for the uh the, the cord to hang out there and you got a little notch in the door so you can you know run cords in and out of there there's your glove compartment there and there's a little pocket there that looks like a place for a um for a cell phone right there now here's the inside of the back you can see it's got decent leg room I mean there's a lot of room in this vehicle it's small as a compact car I guess you can say but it's uh, it's pretty roomy now here on the back door is pretty simple there's no no pockets or anything just a door handle and a power window um, that's about it there there's your fuel cap. You can see it where it says Sonic LT, and then it's got a little turbo in red. It has a spoiler back here. Here in the in the back uh, hatch. This is a five door, considered a five door because it has a hatchback. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. You can see it has a windshield wiper. And uh, here's your cargo space. It does have a cargo cover, so to keep people peering eyes from seeing what's in here. These back seats do fold down in case you need some more cargo space. Not sure what's in this box, but some kind of part for the car. Um, it was back here already. And uh, got some storage space under here. And I think there's supposed to be a compact spare tire in here somewhere. But, uh, not sure. It's probably under that. It's not lifting up easy, and I definitely don't want to force it and and, uh, and break it or anything. So there's that, and it's a little tiny, uh, you know, hatchback here, and um, you know, does it get in the way or anything? Just take a look on that side. And you can see where the door handle is. It's kind of high up. You walk up, and you got plenty of headroom and everything to get in inside the door. That's impressive to me because I don't like, you know, breaking my neck trying to get in a, a small car. And um, when I said that, I'm looking over at those Corvettes. <laughs> so anyways, here's the front door. you got the power windows, uh, power side mirrors, and you got door lock controls. Big pocket there at the bottom. Uh, automatic headlights. you got a dimmer switch. Uh, manual adjustments on the seats. And hopping in, you get the little key out, switchblade key. It does have remote start and everything on the key. This is pretty cool. You can go ahead and put the key in there. 
crank it up and see what it does. Let me turn the volume down. So there's your gauges. Real easy to read. It's very simple. Uh, you've got your tachometer there, RPMs. Um, you also have your... This vehicle is in demonstration mode. Connected by OnStar's high-speed 4G connection. Press the blue OnStar button to learn more. All right, maybe later. All right, so back to what I was doing. That's digital speedometer, fuel gauge there, uh, average miles per gallon, uh, compass, and uh, the odometer and all that good stuff. Now, you know, you could. there's a menu, a real small menu system. You push the menu button, and you can kind of scroll through using this. And uh, you can set it to different, different languages and stuff like that. But there's not a huge amount of options there. There's your windshield wiper control. Cruise control is on this side. Um, you can turn it on and off, cancel it, and all that good stuff. Faster and slower. Uh, it does have Bluetooth, so you can pair your phone, and it does have a voice recognition um, to where you can, you know, push the button and 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 you know, bark out commands or whatever. Your volume control is there. Change to the station is here. It's got a very comfortable steering wheel. It's not leather wrapped or anything like that, but it does have some little dimples here and, and a nice uh, smooth grip place I guess you can say little storage pocket up there very basic radio volume tuned to the stations and um, very basic it does have a CD player it does have auxiliary input here and um, so you can uh, basically adjust different things there um, hit the clock you can set the clock there go back very basic radio. Some people just like basic radio. So there you go. Not sure what that is. Is that? I see. I've seen that in another vehicle. It's like a little place. I don't know if that's like a business card or. What, I don't know what that's for. Maybe you can let me know. Um, uh, you can. There's a lock and unlock the doors. Four-way flashers. Air conditioning. Your fan. Where you want the air to blow. The temperature you want. Um, there's a little pocket there. There's a shifter pretty basic no, this vehicle doesn't have any backup cameras or anything like that but um you know basic shifter do you have a adjustment as far as the gears you want down here we have a power supply we have a place where we can turn the traction control off we do have a couple cup holders here which is very handy an old-fashioned emergency brake parking brake whatever you want to call it but uh, interesting pockets here it looks like a place to put a cell phone or just anything you just want to just drop in there and um, when you get in a vehicle you have a place to put stuff not a huge amount of storage options but um, and you know it does have some well-placed um, you know storage options so that's good up here you've got your own star button a voice recognition button and a SOS button I guess that would call like 911 or something don't want to try it tap lights and uh, this button here is for your sunroof so this is kind of sunroof that slides back and forth it also tilts up and it has a shade too in case you just don't want the sun in your face now here's the, your uh, your visors and they have a, uh, a mirror but they also have this little place here I guess you can put a business card or some kind of piece of paper there maybe the registration the same thing on that side all right so let me turn off the engine and uh, let's look underneath the let's look at the engine it is a small 1.4 liter engine but i um, curious to see what what it looks like do this one-handed has a little latch there that you push to the your right all right so there it is uh, 1.4 liter ecotech turbo engine and it gets you good gas mileage and it also gives you a little bit of power so pretty neat all right, there you have it. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, I'm at a uh, I'm at Judd Coon Chevrolet, and they're allowing me to, to video some of their vehicles, so um, so you can know more about them uh, before you even at, at, make it to the lot. So, if you have any questions, if I don't know the answer, I'll ask them. I'm sure they know everything about Chevrolets, and um, 
since they're a Chevrolet dealer. And uh, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments, like I said. And I'll, and if you can rate, subscribe, uh, send this vi uh, send the videos to a friend. And um, this is what the dealership looks like. Kind of share the videos. That would really help me out a lot. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.